Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. We've got our share of rain, not uh, as much as we're going to see, though. That's right. We've got more on the way. Now, not to the extent that they're going to see no. down around the Gulf Coast, so that's the good news for us. But keep the rain gear handy and also check back with us for the latest on any severe weather potential that may materialize here in the coming days. I will say, though, this week, not looking quite as active, to say the least, as what we saw last week in terms of strong storm threats. We will have the rain, though, around 60% chance tomorrow. Rain chance goes down slightly Wednesday, Thursday, perhaps a completely dry day before we're tracking more scattered shower and thunderstorm activity as we close out the week and get ready to head into the weekend. Our severe weather chances over the next five days, there's a low risk tomorrow. That's the only day that is showing up at the time being. But we will continue, of course, to monitor as we get closer. These are the threats that we are watching for tomorrow. And again, in general, the threat is low, but not necessarily zero. Strong wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and hail. Those are the main threats at this point. Tornado activity not expected, but you know how things can change. We'll get new information tonight. We'll get a new severe weather outlook as well. And meteorologist Grace Anello will have those latest details for you first thing tomorrow morning. Right now, Way 31 triple Doppler not picking up anything of any consequence weather wise. And it looks like for, at least for the next few hours, we'll stay quiet. Mainly cloudy skies out there. Now after midnight tonight, indications still continue that we'll get a little band of shower and uh, perhaps some thunderstorm activity coming through. I'm not expecting anything severe potential wise tonight. Lawrenceburg to Huntsville to Gunnersville around four or so in the morning is when we're expecting this to move through. It'll lift out of here, uh, perhaps in time for the commute for a lot of you, although you still see at eight o'clock in the morning could be a few spots of wet weather, just nothing that looks super widespread early in the day. And then we'll turn our attention to the afternoon hours. We will warm back up tomorrow, should get back into the 70s, maybe hitting 80 in a few spots. So that'll make the atmosphere a little bit unstable tomorrow afternoon and with some energy coming on in to help kick off some rainfall. We do expect to see some storms popping up later in the day tomorrow. This is around four o'clock. Some of these storms you should see in northwest Alabama potentially could be strong, maybe marginally severe, and these will continue to roll through during the evening hours as well. Another batch perhaps coming in around mid evening. And then as we work our way into your Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning should get a little bit of a break out there and only some limited shower activity coming up through the day on Wednesday, which right now is not showing any signs of any severe weather threats. Temperatures for the remainder tonight, they'll kind of hang out low in mid 60s. That's what we'll wake up to in the morning. From there, we'll climb through the 70s through the noon hour and then expect to see middle upper 70s and maybe a couple spots around 80. Again, some shower activity in the morning. We'll have a better chance for some storms coming in tomorrow afternoon. And again, the possibility that maybe one or two of those could be on the strong side. 76 in the Shoals and Moulton, 75 in Athens tomorrow. Pretty close to 80 in Huntsville. We'll go 78 in Scottsboro and 75 over in Fort Payne. Here's your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day forecast. Again, your rain chances do go down Wednesday into Thursday, but unfortunately, we don't continue that trend into the weekend. 85 on your Thursday, probably the warmest day we'll see this week. We will pick up the rain and thunderstorm chances again starting Friday. Some of that wet weather will linger over the weekend. Not looking like a washout though at this point. Certainly looks like it'll be warm with temperatures running in the 80s early next week maybe even close to that 90 degree mark before rain chances bring temperatures down just a hair again by midweek.